In this video, I'm planning on showing you how to create a project and basically run a C++ source file in uh, Visual Studio 2019. So this is going to be, it's, this is pretty similar to um, Visual Studio 2017, but there are some differences. So I'm, a, I'm making a, a video to go through this. So first of all, what you're going to do when you first open Visual Studio, you're going to get this list of options here under Get Started. So what we want to do is we want to select Create a New Project. So we're going to do that. And then you're given a bunch of options here for um, projects. And the one that we want is called, is this empty project. And it says, start from scratch with C++ for Windows. So this is the one we want to select. If you're missing this one, um, there's another one that you could possibly look for. And I don't know if it's on mine, but you could also select CLR empty project. So if, if you can't find this empty project, start from scratch with C++ for Windows. This is assuming you're using a Windows machine. Then try searching for CLR and um, look for CLR empty project. And once you find that, you can go from there. That's not on mine, so I can't actually show you that. But um, look for that one if you don't have this empty project here. And then go ahead and select Next. And now what you want to do is give the project a name. I'm just going to call this Hello World because this is, we're basically just going to be running a, a program that prints Hello World to the console. I'm going to, and then you want to select a location to put your project, and so this is just going to be a folder with some stuff. Um, I'm just putting it on the desktop so I can find it easily, but um, wherever you want to put it, just put it there. And then I also have this selected. So this is place solution and project in the same directory. So once you have all that, go ahead and hit create. And this is going to create your Visual Studio project. And so then this is the screen that you should see. So if you look over here, you'll see the project. So this is, the name of the project is Hello World. And then we just have some folders here. The one that we want to pay attention to right now for um, running our C++, for compiling and running our C++ source file is this one called source files. So what we need to do is add a source file to our project. So what I'm going to do is right click on this. And there are a couple different ways you can do this. First of all, you could add a new item. And I'll just show you both. So if we add a new item, you want to go here. So you want to make sure that you're selecting this C++ file dot CPP file. Uh, make sure you select this one. If you select one of these other ones, this isn't, it's not going to work. So make sure you select the .cpp, go ahead and hit add, and then you get a, like a workspace here to type your code. So I already have the code in um, Sublime, which is just a text editor for code. Um, what I'm going to do is just copy and paste this code into Visual Studio. So I'm just going to copy this. and paste it into Visual Studio. So this is just a really simple C++ program and all this is going to do is print hello world out to the console when it runs. So let's go ahead and run this. Um, so I'm just going to go here and hit local windows debugger. You could also go to build and we can build the solution but and then uh, so build the solution and then run the solution but if you hit this local windows debugger it just builds it and, and runs it all at once so let's go ahead and do that so this is running 
and we get our console here and it printed out hello world so this program is doing what we want it to do and then I'm just going to close this so one issue that you might run into when running your code in Visual Studio with something like this is this program basically opens the console, prints hello world, and then when it returns a zero, which is this line right here, this indicates that the program exited or that ran and exited successfully. So the issue that you can run into with Visual Studio is the console might pop up, display hello world, and close immediately. So then you can't actually see your program run. If you have that problem, what you need to do is go over here to your project name. So mine's hello world. Right click on hello world and go down to properties. Go to linker system and then right here where it says subsystem just click on that and you'll get this arrow and then you can you want to select this console subsystem console and the reason why I didn't have the problem when I ran mine a minute ago was because this is already selected so if if you if you create a project that is that's not already selected then you'll have to go in and select that to make sure your console stays open when you run the program. And let me just show you real quick what happens if that's not selected. So let's go ahead and unselect that. I'm going to go run this. And see, so it ran, like, it ran, but then our console, like, came, popped up, and then it just disappeared immediately. So... If your program is doing that, just go in and link that console. So right click on your project name, properties, and then it was linker, system, subsystem, and select this console, subsystem console. Hit apply, OK, and now it should run and your console window will stay open. So let me show you real quick. So this one, I put the source file into my project by creating a new source file, and then I copied and pasted my source code into that file. Let me show you um, how you can just add a source file without copying and pasting. So I'm going to remove this one. So now this is like when I just when I set it up from the beginning, when I set up the project, I don't have any source files yet. So let's go ahead and add a source file. So add, and this time, before remember I selected new item and then copied and pasted my source code in. This time I'm going to select an existing item, and I'm going to go find my source file, which is on the desktop. Oh yeah, right here. And then the name of the file is hello world.cpp. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. And so see now I have the source file here and I can go ahead and edit that or do whatever I want to do. So let's go ahead and compile this and run it. So it's still doing the same thing. So however you want to do this, you when you create a new project you can either add a blank source file or a new source file and then copy and paste your um, code into that source file or you can add an existing source file and it'll just add it like this. So this is how you set up and run a very simple um, C++ project in Visual Studio 2019.